Hello everyone, I am Mrs. Saili Belle. In this video, we are going to see RFID. RFID is an acronym for Radio Frequency Identification and that refers to a technology where the digital data encoded in RFID tags or smart labels are captured by a reader via radio waves. So we'll see the working of it now. So here you can see the host RFID reader, the antenna and the transporters. So RFID belonged to a group of technologies referred to as automatic identification and data capture. This methods automatically identify objects, collect the data about them and uh, enter those data just directly into the computer system or with very little or no new human intervention. RFID methods utilize radio waves to accomplish this. At the simple level, RFID systems consist of three components, RFID tag or a smart label, RFID reader and an antenna. RFID tag contain an integrated circuit and antenna which are used to transmit data to the RFID reader which is called as an interrogator, which may, which may be called as an interrogator. The reader can convert the radio waves to a more usable form of data. The information which is collected from the tags is then transferred to a communication interface to host a computer system where the data can be stored uh, in a database and analyzed at a later time. So you can see the diagram and you can analyze like what, how it is used. So here RFID antennas are necessarily elements in RFID system because they convert RFID reader signal into RF waves that can be picked up by the RFID tags. Without some type of RFID antenna, whether integrated or standalone, the RFID reader cannot properly send and receive the signals to RFID tags. So you can see over here is our, these are the uh, RFID component block diagram. Here you can see RFID tag, RF antenna, network and workstation. Okay. So um, RFID is like uh, it consists of uh, integrated circuit and antenna and it is uh, composed of protective material that is holding a pieces of together and shields from various environment conditions. RFID applications uh, I mean can be seen in many industry to perform this uh, task such as inventory management, asset tracking, personal tracking, controlling access to restricted areas, ID badging, supply chain management, counterfeit prevention. So there are a huge number of applications uh, based on the RFID. So there are some types of RFID. Uh, the first one is a passive RFID tags uh, which rely on radio frequency energy transfer from the readers to the tag or to power the tag. They are not battery or powered. Applications of this can be found in supply chain, passport, electronic tools and uh, atom level tracking. Then active RFID tags have their own battery supply and then they can in instigate uh, communication with the reader. Active tags can contain external sensors to monitor temperature, pressure, chemicals and other conditions. Active RFID used uh, in a manufacturing, hospital laboratories and remote sensing, IT asset management. And on semi-passive RFID tags, they may have both the things like passive and active. Some of them may require uh, the battery to charge their own. So, so this is what the types of uh, RFID tags. So here you can see the comparison of the tags. So passive tags, semi-passive and the active tags. Onboard power supply from the passive is no and for semi-passive yes, internal battery is there and active tags is also having the internal battery. Transmission range is for passive track is uh, given, it is short, uh, for semi is uh, medium and for active tags it's a long. Communication patterns is passive for passive tags, uh, passive for semi-passive tags also and proactive for active tags. The cost of the passive tags is cheap comparatively, uh, semi-passive semi tags are medium and the active tags is expensive. The type of memory which has uh, for the passive tags is uh, mostly read only and for semi passive and active tags are read and write the life uh, of the tags for the passive tags is up to 20 years and as this is battery operated for the semi passive and active this uh